Hey guys, welcome back to my second YouTube channel. Today's topic of discussion is how to study for the MCAT. I'm going to give you guys tips on what I did to study for my MCAT. Hopefully you will find it helpful. So the first suggestion is to register for your MCAT. I would suggest um, registering and giving yourself at least three months in advance to study for the MCAT. I've tried um, doing two months and I actually had to push the MCAT date back um, a month later. And I think there was like a $75 um, fee that, you know, if you push your test back a little bit, you have to pay. And then after that, if you push it back some more, you have to pay a little bit extra. So I would just suggest giving yourself three months and, you know, that should be good. Um, once you register for the MCAT, of course, you have to buy your books. As you can see, I use um, Kaplan's book to um, study for my MCAT. I've tried using Amcracker, which is also good, and Princeton Review, but I think I like Kaplan better just because they have small little passages in there um, that kind of helps me memorize some of the stuff, like they have some cool mnemonics devices in there that you can use, and it's just easier to follow along. So I would suggest using Kaplan for um, studying for the MCAT. So once you register for the exam and once you have your books, uh, the next thing is you know coming up with a schedule and sticking through with it. So I study about five or six days a week. Um, so I, it's it's pretty intense. Um, it I treat it like it's, it's a full time job. Um, if you have a full time job, I would suggest cutting it back to just being part time. I was part time and I did just fine. I work maybe two or three days a week. And um, the days that I'm not working, obviously I'm studying for the MCAT. So my schedule consists of waking up at 7.30 in the morning. Of course, um, having a cup of coffee, get some breakfast. And then I begin my session exactly at 8 o'clock. And I will study all the way up until like 12 p.m. with breaks in between. Um, and then, you know, take a lunch break and then come back and study some more with, you know, an hour break between those timelines and then just study all the way up until 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, and then that's, that's that. When I'm done studying for the day, I am not looking through my stuff again. I am done for the day to kind of rest my brain and, you know, not fry it per se. So um, I try to study for about 7-8 hours a day. Um, I switch topics between each day. So let's say on Monday, I would just be studying for biology and uh, biochemistry. So during that day, I would just be studying those two subjects. And then the next day, I would switch it off and study for general chemistry and organic chemistry. And that's all I would be studying. Um, the cool thing about the Kaplan books is that at, each, at the end of each chapter, there's um, quizzes and test questions that you can go through. Um, so I would go through those questions the next day to kind of refresh my brain and um, to kind of recall some of the information that I've learned the day previously. So for the first one and a half months, I try to finish all, going through each, each book and um, basically just getting a lot of information. So for me, how I retain some, most of the information is I type it down. So I have PowerPoint slides made for each one of the books. So biology, I have a PowerPoint slide made for that. So when I'm typing or when I'm writing stuff down, it helps me memorize some of the stuff. Um, so like I say, the first one and a half months, I would just be going through those books and just getting down a lot of the information. And then the last one and a half months, I would go back and just review a lot of those informations and answer a lot of questions um, practice questions. I also bought a lot of um, practice questions and stuff on the AMMC uh, website. So I bought this book on that website. I also bought some flashcards on there that helps me review a lot of the stuff. Um, and let me show you some of the stuff that I have as well. So I wrote a lot of notes. So this is chemistry. I wrote down a lot of the equations for um, physics and like I say for me the best way to memorize is to typing it down or writing it out because 
um, it becomes repetitive and I just I find that more helpful and I highlighted a lot of the stuff so this is the um, physics books that I um, jot down a lot of the notes and um, so I wrote down a lot of stuff I highlighted a lot of stuff and that's you know it's helpful that's how I study um, and I also um, so towards the one and a half months before the exam I did a lot of practice questions um, you've probably heard from medical students um, saying do a lot of practice questions and they are so right because the more that you do those practice questions the more um, you know you become accustomed to how your brain becomes accustomed on how to take the test because a lot of those questions ask um, things that it's more applicable and it's not just memorization and so you have to think and recall a lot of the stuff by doing those questions so I definitely suggest doing a lot of practice questions before your test um, and um, so some other tips that I would give for anybody that's studying for the MCAT is to get a lot of sleep definitely get a lot of sleep because you study so much during the day your brain needs to rest and so I would say give yourself at least eight, seven or eight hours of sleep every day making sure that you rest your brain so that way you wake up refreshed and ready to go for me a way to uh, relieve my stress is to exercise so during that time I ran a lot um, I ran a lot, I work out a lot and it releases endorphins and so um, that's one way for me to relieve my stress otherwise I would be so stressed out I can't even think so I would suggest eating right getting a good diet and just exercising to release those endorphins to help you um, think more clearly um, and I also suggest shutting off your phone during the day and um, for me I when I studied for my MCAT my phone was shut off and it was in a drawer and I didn't get on social media until you know weekends actually because when I'm on social media sometimes it can turn into like an hour with me being on social media and that's just wasting time that I could be studying for the MCAT so I would su just su suggest that you know you shut off your phone you don't get on social media until you get that free time towards the end of the week um, the MCAT is a rigorous exam um, and it's not impossible if you put yourself and you know not willing to give up that's what it is it's not like I say it's not impossible it is hard um, but if this is what you want and this is what you're determined to do this is just another hurdle that you have to jump through and so anybody that um, uh, has taken the MCAT would say that it is the most rigorous test that you can ever take and I would attest to that um, it took a lot out of me studying for the CCM and I went through a lot of personal stuff at the time, same time too but I just kept pushing through and I never gave up and you know you just have to find that motivation the same motivation that started when you wanted to become a doctor and so those are my tips on how to study for the MCAT I'll post um, my schedule on the link below so that way you guys can have a good idea on what to do I'll also post some stuff to, um, for you guys um, so that way you can kind of look through if you're pre-med students that are planning to study for the MCAT um, if you have any questions just leave a comment and um, I'll try to reply to that make sure you guys subscribe to my videos and I'll see you next time thank you